Hi there, Alan. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad at all. Um, these are the toys we're going to talk about now, the macadamia. Um, there's been some reports about the Australian new crop, is it? That's right. So flowering was around uh, July, August time. They predicted a crop of around 47,000 tonnes. This has now actually right. increased as they've started the collection process, which is toward, which is now in December and then into January as well. Right, OK. Uh, it's a long crop, I believe. It takes about three months or something to get all the stuff off the trees. Absolutely, so yeah. And then yeah. the drying process is a long, long time as well. Um, okay. So first shipments we wouldn't expect to leave Australia until probably May or June. I see. Right. OK, so we're talking about uh, predictions for 2016. Exactly. Really. Exactly. OK. Uh, and Australia is the main, uh, the main uh, output now. But uh, there's also, of course, uh, lots of stuff like um, Africa is uh, yeah. a big source. Absolutely, South Africa, um, Kenya, and uh, Malawi as well, where we actually source a lot of our macadamia from. Right. Okay. Uh, is there any significant differences? Do you think to from for the product from these different origins? Um, I find that majority of macadamia is, is very similar across the board. I think there's there's a kind of a myth that South African and Australian produce better quality macadamia. Whereas right. some of these, these Kenyan suppliers and our, our supplier that we do with a lot of Malawi is exceptionally good macadamia. Right, okay. So we might see some relaxation in prices, do you think? Or well, it seems every year with macadamia that as and supply happens, increases, demand just mm. increases even more. This, I mean, there's, so this is a 10% increase over last year's Australian crop they're looking at this year. Right. And yeah, already, I mean, at the moment, 50% of the crop goes into to Asia anyway. Yeah. Um, so kind of puts more pressure on the, the African market to supply Europe. Yeah, in a lot of ways, uh, macadamia is the ultimate quality nut. Yeah. In that, uh, you know, if you go everywhere from Dubai airport to Beijing airport, it, and I believe uh, there's been some sort of breakthrough in marketing of macadamia inland to China. Yeah. Uh, where it's always been preserved, uh, uh, perceived as a, as a, as the sort of ultimate quality nut. You know, it's yeah. like it's a nut that people know is expensive. Yeah, exactly. They don't I expect mean, to see a big bag of them. Marketing, but whenever you see, it, always, always claim that it's yeah the king of the nuts, the macadamia is uh, yeah. the kind of premium and a, and a style zero, which is the the largest quality. That's sort of everything that's twenty one millimeters up in diameter. Is that's that's something very exclusive that you see. Yeah, Barely and that's really. the perennial problem, isn't it? Getting enough of the whole nuts. Uh, there doesn't seem to be enough of an outlet for uh, broken nuts. Mm -hmm. um, so we probably won't see um, price going down, but maybe no. a bit more money spent on marketing. I think so, yeah. There seems to be a, a big push by certainly the Australian macadamia marketers for that Asian market, and we're seeing kind of more cracking being done in Asia for the European market as well? Uh, well, we were in Vietnam and uh, uh, quite a f well, not quite a few, but there are some cashew crackers there, uh, like Donna Foods, mm. which um, uh, does a lot of cracking for uh, Australia, actually. Right, yeah. Um, and uh, so it's become a transit point for cracking because it sort of fits in with the cashew sure. as well. Yeah. It's a slightly different time. Mm -hmm. um, so, and you know, raw macadamia is not, I mean, in shell macadamia is not that expensive because it's difficult not to crack. Exactly. Yeah. Very hard and all this. So, um, it, what's special about uh, the, uh, the people that we buy from? Well, the, there's a co op of farmers in Malawi um, right. that we buy from, a company called Theolo Nut. Okay. And uh, they also kind of take very good care of their employees. They have uh, health care there on site. They have education for children. Right. They have um, housing for the farmers as well. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a very good relationship between the both the, the factory and the, and the farmers. Yeah, it's quite an old uh, organization, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's part of uh, Organic Farmers and Growers, I think. Yeah, uh, sorry, overseas, overseas Farmers, farmers and Growers. And growers. Um, so it presumably goes right back to colonial times and uh, maybe is more of the sort of uh, the laird model. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, there seems to be a very kind of mutual relationship that goes on there. Yeah. It seems to be um, 
and I mean, what speaks for itself is the quality. I mean, the produce that we get from there every year is exceptionally good quality macadamia, right. okay. which is why we keep going back to them for, for yeah. new I stuff. guess quality boils down really to, um, it's a very oily nut mm -hmm. and uh, liable to, uh, uh, liable for that oil to go rancid. Yeah, and in the drying process as well, if it's done too quickly, you can often get discoloration on the on the bottom half of the nut. Yeah, the onion skin. The onion and skin, yeah. yeah. And it does look like a, a little onion when it kind of goes a bit kind of yellow and there's a kind of dried bottom as well. It looks yeah. like a little onion. So if the drying process isn't done properly for such an expensive product, it's just you, you, you only really want to deal with the best quality macadamia. Yeah, and it has to be dried very slowly, oh otherwise yeah. like that's the caramelization. Exactly, of the oil exactly. And, uh, discoloration. Yeah. So good, I think uh, perhaps it might be a good idea, Adam, if you put uh, something on the website about yeah. the uh, the sustainability and the and uh, the uh, social awareness of uh, of this um, macadamia cracker. Yeah, I think that might be of interest yeah, to some of our customers. Okay, yeah, thank you.